making this quick video to orchestrate and to make a point. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym to work out. Black men, black people, do you see the power that you have and that you hold? I'm watching Jim Clyburn of South Carolina and all these other blacks who's a part of the black congressional caucus in Congress. They are literally in panic mode right now. They are panicking. They are doing everything possible to try and get you all to vote for that of Kamala Harris. Uh, Dana Bash of that of CNN is interviewing him. I'm watching the video, or excuse me, watching the um, this man's commentary. I find all of this interesting because Black men, this shit comes down to you. Like, once again, this is why I have often said that you don't give away your vote for nothing. You don't go out and buy a car without um, researching and finding out if this car is best suitable for you. This is the process of life. All of the things that you see going on right now, and, and most of you all don't see it. Most of y'all don't see it, but I'm saying it because it simply needs to be said before I head out of here to go do my workout. I had to make this point because the point needs to be made and emphasized, which is you all hold and have a lot of power. The Democrats are in panic mode because the people who want to keep control of the, pay, the, 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 the paycheck are the people over there bombing the shit out of the Palestinians. They need you all help to be able to keep control of that paycheck for the next four years. That's the power you hold. So you're basically giving away, you've been giving away your vote for absolutely nothing. And you wonder why your community is ruined. You wonder why your kids don't have the basic essential that other nationalities have. A lack of education, a uh, lack of books, lack of healthcare, all of these things because you give away your fucking vote for nothing. These motherfuckers are in panic mode as we speak right now in real time because they realize this conduit that they've had getting and benefiting for nothing is officially over. They was initially trying to sell us that Kamala Inhofe was a black woman. She's not a black woman. This woman cannot identify with any of our struggles. She ain't come up and no middle class uh, background, all this fuck shit she been selling people. Man, this lady is a fucking affluent. And she probably went to Howard because she couldn't go to any other school. And probably got in there and went to an HBCU for pennies on a dollar or probably nothing to balance out the scale of other. There's a lot of things out there that you all don't think about and don't consider. And one of the things you don't consider is the fact that the power that you do have. That's why you don't give away your vote. And this is what Jim Clyburn and everybody else in panic mode, Barack Obama panicking about now. Damn, we, we can't go out there and sell these motherfuckers this, this, this uh, tap, uh, tap shoe, uh, 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 tap dance, excuse me, tap dance and feel good rhetoric anymore. You've been losing. And not only have you been losing, the Democrats are replacing you because they got open borders. And people get mad at Donald Trump by calling this man a racist. But the shit that he's saying is factual. This is all I'm saying. You can't give away your fucking for nothing. And then this is the other thing. To CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, and all the rest of you motherfuckers out there, stop calling us African American. We're not fucking two continents named after white men. Leo, uh, Leo Scipio's Africanos and Amerigo's first future. That's not who we are. We are the Hebrews of the Bible. You all have kept our identity hidden, but this is 2024 and the truth will be exposed. We are the people of the land of Israel. That's who we are. We are the children of Israel. You all, the United States know who we are. They've kept this shit hid. But the truth will be come out and it will be exposed. And it's being exposed. The truth of the matter is we ain't really even supposed to be um, falling under the, the, the tutelage of any voting for somebody. Because Christ is our leader. But that's a conversation for another day. I'm speaking on where the mindset is today. Where everybody is dealing with the aspect of 
Harris and that of Trump. And the Democrats, the ones that have been out there selling y'all this tap dancing bullshit, are nervous because they know now, guess what? They're going to have to give you something for your vote. And that's all we've ever said here at the Chris Miles Show. See how it works? See how it works? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Drop all comments below. I'm Chris Miles from the Chris Miles Show. I'm on my way to the gym. Everybody have a good day. Until next time, the moving finger rights has written moves on to all of you. Good day.